feel like uh, do we record a lot at eight o'clock on a week? Week? I, I no, feel like because this, the light is different. That's the problem. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm, no, I feel I'm like definitely the, sensitive to. I feel like the uh, this seems very uh, late in the day. I don't know why. Danny uh, just got his child to sleep, and uh, uh, but Mark the, just you know finished up at work and drove home so <laughs> well yeah and you, you just hung your flag exactly and we're all here oh, to enjoy my, another quality flag. episode <laughs> of the adventures of danny like <laughs> welcome to the show <laughs> <laughs> to okay. my left sort of below-ish me i don't know how it is when it comes he out says of the below me and then he says somebody's mm-hmm. name and someone ultimately Actually, you're the only one below me again it's all from mike anyway uh, Mr. Michael C. Marone is here tonight. Hello, Michael. Hi, Chan. To his right, or maybe below me? I don't know. Mr. Danny Tamborelli. Hello. It's getting Danny. old. It's getting old. It's Danny. getting old? Yeah. All right, that's the fourth and final. Fourth and final one. Our guest for the entire hour, Mr. Mark Saul. Good friend of the pod. Hello, Mark. Wait, How this is you? an hour? <laughs> yeah, I blew, I blew 27 minutes of your time. Well, Wait, I, be cleaning the closet? I was team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I may stop minutes. and start cleaning the closet a little yeah. bit. Well, hello. That was Hi, thanks for having me, rickety, guys. This is this will be we fun. We some time on our hands. Yeah, this was a yeah rickety intro, but uh, I'm I'm happy to see all of your. It came out of nowhere. Of, yeah. <laughs> I, we rarely get to see Casa Marona either. Uh, for the for the uh, Patreon subscriber, the ween the the flag is blown in the wind, just like Ween's Dick is blowing in the wind. I don't know, man. That's all I got. Waving. That's a song it's by Ween. Waving. Oh, right. Waving. Okay. Thanks. Uh, we uh, go back to a Ween background. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. And Mark uh, likes to put you? fun backgrounds behind them. Mark, oh, cool. I love it. Mark, I love it because you have enough um, solids and then patterns. It's a perfect breakup. Yeah, I, I organized it before this show. I wanted it to not be distracting <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> My mind the one, is the calm. one stripe. It's, yeah, it's mind calming. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> That's great for the non Patreon. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Mark's podcasting currently from a closet, uh, and I appreciate that because it sounds great. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Yeah. And I compared uh, Jeremy earlier to a cuckoo as it hatches. It. Uh, it pushes the other hatchlings out of the nest and then expands to fill up the entire space. So I would kind of compare that to how Jeremy made Seltzer King Studios happen. <laughs> wow. Oh, it pushes the from? other hatchlings out of the nest or, oh my gosh. And so as it's brothers and, and sisters. Whoa, 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 whoa. And the eggs. This is as a, hey, uh-huh. time. it's time to fly? Time to like, oh, or geez. is this like a, no, it's please get out of it's like, like yeah. Let's no, that's not true. It's like you're that's a broiler true. chicken. Love- you're a broiler chicken. You're getting the hell out of here. This <laughs> all gets blamed on uh, COVID. You guys would be here, right here, if it weren't for this damn, damn virus. We would so. be. Broiled. I mean, we do. We have that kind of. Mo- we have that kind of money, Mark. That we can <laughs> just would, right fly me out for an yeah, hour. A hundred percent. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You get one hour in New York. <laughs> Business class. Yeah. Oh, what right. would you guys Absolutely. do if you had one hour in New York? You right know, before now. all this, like, right now. If you just had one hour to, what would you do? I guess you, you got to do park, man. Parks are nice. Depends prospect. on what airport you're at. You know? <laughs> oh, well. exactly, if you're flying, exactly where you're you right. are. No, if no, you're at LaGuardia, you got an hour. Yeah, you go to the World's Fairgrounds, and you go to, oh, you go right. to City oh, right. Field. Okay. Or you go ice skating. You, you at go the, ice uh, skating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If, oh, okay. You're, at, if just, you're at JFK, yeah. you just get to go hang out in smelly Jamaica Bay. Or you could... You could walk around a couple of the terminals in an hour, or you could wait for the subway for an hour because sometimes it takes that long. Okay, let's say Mark is a Great. magician and he can drop you anywhere in New York, and it's oh, not it's not it's limited. Not to one of the big, I wasn't talking about the big three air, one of the big three airports. Okay, I'm let's sorry. Just, I just I was just trying to be realistic. The dad about mind it. is yeah. like okay. I just wanted. Completely. I just needed some realistic. Okay, you know. there's another podcast for that. It's called Realistic. This is not that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> let's say you could be anywhere. So does that mean that it because some folks like to get away, take a holiday on the neighborhood? Got gotcha, you, Cut that out. I Cut that shit out. Cut it out. Billy Joel. I made you out. listen to Billy Joel. Uh, what, yesterday I was in the car and it took me about two verses and two choruses through. Uh, uh, oh, damn it. 
Oh, uh, no, uh, no, 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 Billy Joel. No, yeah. it was the stranger before I got mad at myself and said, damn it, Billy, you got me again. And then turned the station. <laughs> damn you, Joel. <laughs> Just turns the wheel. That's it. If I only had an hour in New York, I would go to Bleecker Street and I go to John's of Bleecker and have pizza and it would be nighttime. So for an hour, I'd also walk across the street and go to Smalls, the jazz club for an hour, for oh, like a half hour. That's not bad. That would be I was thinking hour. Defonte's, but I don't that's know. Cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I don't, there's nothing else near there to go to. Well, I was you're saying thinking, if you only had an hour, I was getting, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Do the Red two drink minimum at, at, at Village on. Underground, you know. Red Hook well, does. an hour. You could go to Defonte's and Sunny's. That would be great, too. This is, we be become regional the, again. I want to be in the candle and the flame of the, the Statue of Liberty for one hour. Lock me in. That's cool. Have you done that before? Never. Just oh. I, no. We've always done the uh, when my family comes, we'll take them to like the uh, the Staten Island we, ferry tour. We do bottom <laughs> torch. We, we we're, we're a bottom <laughs> torch family. We do not take a flame. We're not a flame family. We do a bottom torch. It's uh, it's it's expensive to go to to to, to stand there. I don't I don't really need that thrill, but you have to pay. I guess you LA pay more to do that. Me. You you pay more to. I don't think to you can actually higher, go or? up there anymore. Oh. Oh, maybe they can't stop it, but they use not you, not clear up there, not to the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. I think you can get into the <laughs> into the crown. I think that's the right. highest you can get. Uh, sure. Mark, just for the purposes of your hypothetical, you meant yeah, New York, I hear. New York. You you meant New York, New York, New York City, baby, right? Uh, or, yeah, say, that's what I'm most Vegas, familiar York, with. Sure. Yeah, I don't know any part of New York. Well, what's your? If I could pick yeah. one hour in the Vegas, New York, New York casino, <laughs> I would spend that hour <laughs> playing blackjack in a penthouse. Uh, great, in a suite, private suite. <laughs> Whoa, that I sounds sounds mildly nefarious. No, if you have enough money, I figure they'd come to you, right? <laughs> Is that how gambling works? <laughs> sure. Like, if, it's very interesting. I think there was an A Team episode about exactly that. God. No, but like they have high high roller rooms, you know. But but what about like uh, you know you can you can like call high roller massage. private private rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it would just be called playing cards with friends. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Jeremy! You invented that. Concierge? Yes, I got Air the map? penthouse. I need yeah. a couple dealers up here, stat, and I mean the card <laughs> dealers, not the other dealers. Not yeah, the other kind. Yeah, cancel those. Oh man! Actually, one of those will be fine too. I do. I love Las Vegas. I, 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 I still want to ride dirt bikes in the desert in Las Vegas. That's that's on my bucket list. I don't know why. Could be the last is. thing on your bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try to fill I it up a bit before you go yeah. out. Will you? <laughs> it was it can't be. Any- go ahead. I was zipping through on the four wheeler in the sand, but I happened to drive right by that AK forty seven shooting gallery. <laughs> kind of fuck oh, myself just, up a little oh, bit. Yeah, you, you ended up with a few holes. I did that oh. once. I sh- I went to one of those one of those things and shot a machine gun. <laughs> or, I'm going to say Coney Island. Oh, okay, cool, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Just I guess there's come a lot back to around. Do. Danny drove me over there once. That's and true. Marooned, and yeah. marooned you and, and made you, uh, <laughs> yeah. made you oh, like, God. find your way back. That's right. I gave Mark Sala like a little a little tour of all the boroughs except for. Yeah. I, he could see Staten Island. I said, don't worry about the fries. I could see it from there. It's <laughs> yeah. Here is yeah, a small really bag cool. of fries. Each fry is a ticket. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that's that's what you do with an Nathan's French fry from Coney Island, you know. No, I didn't know that. That's cool. oh, go ahead. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I've had a jumping on in there. Just putting it in there. <laughs> jump, jump yeah, in this there. is a very loose podcast for me. Why you've had a couple of mochas, Jeremy. Jeremy likes to drink caffeinated chocolate. That was earlier. Chocolate. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. No, this yeah, you, it's not good. Uh, doctor, Tom, this doctor says it's not good. This is the intervention. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> doctor this, keeps, of, keeps writing. He's like, I'm going to keep writing pre in front of diabetic. <laughs> but if you don't stop this, I'm going to have to drop the pre. <laughs> oh man, is that, that, that's, is that how it works? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah <laughs> you're you're pre-diabetic until your doctor tells you you're no yeah. longer pre. It's yeah. like, look, I told you once, I told you twice. It's a, it's this is the last time. Yeah. Or guess what? You are diabetic, <laughs> my friend. Okay. Yeah. Or yeah, I or told it's just a, you once, I told you twice. The go ahead, um, go ahead Jack. It, it could just could be a measurement of your blood. I don't know. It could just be that's that probably too. It. Yeah. Just, what, 
happen. Um, but Mark, I uh, yeah. wanted to bring this up somehow or another, and what a horrible segue to do it. But <laughs> I, I had make it, made a oh, joke uh, with Danny or somebody. I, I think it was Danny or maybe all three of us. And uh, it was, um, there's two constant things in life. No, three. Taxes, death. And Mark Saul's commercial booking agent getting him work. It's always going to happen. <laughs> Every commercial that I see on TV, oh, Mr. Mark no, Saul is in. That's really nice. Yeah, thank you. I think you were more it's specific like you, with saying it was the Super Bowl, a Super Bowl commercial. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which um, is like, you know, very, it's the upper top, echelon that's, that's of, up of commercials. Yeah. No, but it, you, you, you do a lot, of, exciting, a lot of exciting. Yeah. Those are yeah. the Super Bowl of commercials, mm -hmm. I'm, told, I'm told. Absolutely. And you all, you know, you know in advance that it's a Super Bowl commercial. Um, sometimes I don't know until I'm on set, and we're halfway shoot done shooting it. Sometimes really? they say it. Sometimes they say it to Mark right before they roll the camera. It's the most uncanny thing. They're just like, "Hey, hey!" And some, you know, it's a different directors, different uh, style. But sure. One of them is sitting in the back. He's like, "Hey, Saul, it's going to Super Bowl. Okay, action." <laughs> <laughs> that's like your trigger like you have the ad of every job be like whisper in his ear yeah this is gonna be on the super bowl yeah. Yeah. mark yeah. we're gonna need a really yeah. big reaction you know why because it's a super bowl commercial <laughs> mark, mark saw <laughs> a lack of satisfaction in the rest of his life because of an unfortunate adrenaline gap <laughs> right. people fail to I, say hey it's the super bowl mm-hmm and he just reported less. He was feeling less. Yeah. It's like the opposite. Maybe that could be a Taco Bell. Uh, I'm just feeling, I'm not feeling moss. I'm feeling less. Menos. Yeah. Menos. But no, Menos, you yeah. like, I, I want to, like, you, you do, I, we just, it, it warms our heart every time. Every time oh. that Marla and I are sitting on our couch, eating and watching television. <laughs> Thank which is you. our Thank thing. You. That's. Well, that I'm, I I'm, don't have, not a lot of people yeah, do they that. Don't they don't table. have a dining room table. Oh, <laughs> is it a you got me. You got me. Um, yeah. No, but yes. Well, thank you. A, yeah. Yeah, it's it. I, I and I like when people tell me they saw it because I feel like it's a way of checking in and connecting with people, and yeah. I, it makes me happy to know that someone thought to text me and say, "Hey, I, you know." Yeah. And, I like yeah, to know what, what your hair is at. You know, you got long hair, <laughs> short hair, you got a little bit of stubble. Is it clean shaven? Right now? No, I'm just saying oh. in general. Like, well, that's how I check out and check in on you. Yes, right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's for four well, years ago. Uh, that, well, that's true. Some of them are. That's when I was Some... all sideburns. I have more. Yeah. That... <laughs> right. <laughs> it's an odd feeling. My son is three and a half years old. He's finally like, oh, that's the old Mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess we could get into enough dad stuff. Happy Father's Day all around. Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you. Well, wow. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. 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 The other one must have been fake uh, when I said it last time. Oh, when you no, first. When we first... Can't. Which I, no, don't think well, Jeremy I just wanted to make sure that I got it on record. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What so was your anything, uh, uh, father's? Yeah. What was your Father's Day festivities? Jumped in the pool, took my uh, son over to uh, mom's, my mom's, and uh, he spent most of the day dumping water into the pool. <laughs> From well, where? That's good. It's hot <laughs> outside. They're going to be losing. Oh, okay. They're going to be losing water to evaporation. Yeah. So he was doing a good thing. Pool maintenance. Interesting. I bet <clears throat> mine was the same. I don't have to talk about my Father's Day because mm. I just. Shit the dog and well, what were you? What the were you doing filling up the pool, Jeremy? What? Why were you filling up the pool? You said yours was the same. Oh no, no, no! As far as like, it was the same day as any other day. Is Father's yeah. Day? Oh, he was saying. just talking about what he did on Sunday. The the royal, anyway. Yeah, but but uh, but yeah. I brought my son to his first pool, in my parents' house. Second Super time, Bowl. second time Bowl seeing Bowl? my parents in four and a half months or four and four months. Oh my gosh, crazy. Wow, same here. <clears throat> I oh, wait, you saw you went on Mother's Day and Father's Day, didn't you? 
Mother's Day, I didn't. Mother's Day, we were gonna. Oh God, Mother's that's Day, I, we were, we were I've gonna go. My mom so far, Mother's Day. We, and Father's we were gonna go over there, and Alfie just had a bad day, and it was like a pain in the ass to drive to so Jersey. You so you had a bad day. <laughs> so yeah, we didn't go, but because it was also right when our anniversary was, and our wedding cake is in my parents' freezer. So I was like, Hey, can you pull out some <laughs> wedding cake for us? Just cause we'll be there on Sunday. And then we didn't end up showing up. So they ate it. No, they forgot about it <laughs> and they left it in the fridge for a week and they didn't take a piece out. They took the whole thing. Yes. So they had to throw it out. Yes. <laughs> so oh, it was not a, it was, uh, it was not a happy, it was not a happy time in the, in the Tamborelli Detweiler household, it was, uh, it, for uh, what it's worth, it was doing uh, we tried the year later ice cream, the cake thing. Even after a year, it was like you had ice cream cake. No, not ice cream cake. <laughs> a cake. Oh, that would have been <laughs> that that quite idea. Idea. Yeah, yes. we did the cake thing where we eat it uh, after a year, and it's like it was bad. We just threw it out immediately. Yeah. It was, oh, it just didn't taste good. Yeah. See, we were we I went back. More, we went back to Bethlehem. Be we went back to Bethlehem for our one year and we ended up getting the small version of our cakes. Oh, I see. I was oh, like, yeah. ooh, this is great. And then it was like, oh, good. It's in my parents' freezer, whatever. We'll get it this year. And it just mm. uh, didn't pan out. Good old Sally. Sally Sally heard a piece of cake. Well, actually, she goes, you had cupcakes. It, were, it wasn't real cake, so we she couldn't, we couldn't pull of them the off. off. The Wyckoff off mom's website is probably very happy with your cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody no, she knows went to the fire. she went to enough trouble to call the place Vegan Treats where we got the cake from and asked. Was like, I know it's vegan, so there's no egg or anything like that. Oh, like no, we no, still left it out for a week. So much. They, <laughs> they were they were very good. You all ate them, all of you. I we uh, did. Oh yeah, they were. Yeah, I remember. That's the last time they, we all hung out. I feel oh, like was it? It might have been. Fellas. Yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. That was uh, that was my first. I think one of my first trips a- away from the kids. my whole family. Yeah. Yeah, you you fun. rocked you rocked it solo very well. I did. Oh, thank. <laughs> yeah, I stayed out of trouble. Yeah, you stayed. You did stay out of trouble. I think I put you at a good. Yeah, I think yeah, I put yeah. you at a good table. Oh yeah. Good, oh, it was great. Good, Good conversation, good people. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I like made sure. some friends. Yeah, see? It was great. Damn. Was nice people. It was fun. Yeah. That you're related to. Not all of them. I, some not of them really you, related some to them. you know personally. I don't think, Most yeah, I don't think I was related to any of the people. I mean, you were really, I don't think Danny was related to any of the people I was at the table with, right? I don't think so. You didn't no, say I, I wouldn't do. Yeah. I wouldn't do yeah. that to you. <laughs> yeah. I, you, know, you, can, you can pick your friends. You can't pick your family. You just <laughs> you just run with it. Yeah. But you yeah. can't segregate them at different tables at your <laughs> wedding. Is what you're saying. That's true. That's true. And and when you have those people that fight in between, you know, in, in interfamily uh, political situations. Oh, is this about Notre oh, Dame, and Indiana, and but like, Paul's, yeah, like Paul's I couldn't put, I couldn't put Michigan. some of my dad's family next to some of my mom's family because they don't necessarily get along. Oh, right. Oh. So there, you know, there was like, oh, but there's two tables here. Oh, you can't do that. Don't, don't put. Oh yeah, you also, those people you to together. About, you have to think about elbow range too. If they're back to back, the two right, tables. You don't want to. You don't want them to be. Yeah, 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 yeah adjacent table. to you either. Yeah, that's adjacent, problematic. That's what I was. Mm-hmm. That was the, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did right, you figure it all out like via it's, a it's uh, like COVID-19 battleship board game? Social distancing. You were thinking about before the right? fact. I'll tell you what, my the the wedding reception would have been perfect for social distancing. I think those tables were all pretty far far apart. Yeah, except for the dance floor. That was fun. It's gonna be weird. 2020 weddings that actually happened with no dancing. Mm. Mm, Uh, Well, yeah. uh, Have you booked any weddings? No, I haven't booked any weddings. (laughs) I'm saying, how do you know (laughs) that they're gonna have weddings? Period. Yeah. No, I know because I have friends. I'm supposed. I'm supposed to go to four weddings in October, back to back to back to back. Friday, Mm. Sundays, no Saturday weddings. Isn't that weird? Oh, I thought they were all over one weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> that would Monday. be intense. That would be, that would be very intense. I think it just feels like too much exposure to too many people. I'll rent the once. Kevlar tuxedo for the yeah. weekend, please. Oh, give, me the, give me the four day special <laughs> with the <laughs> five day mask. special. I want yeah. time to you know steam it. 
Yeah. I want to enjoy my one hour in New York in a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, yeah. you never answered your own question. Speaking of what was my question? Hour. Oh, if I had one hour. Yeah. Uh, oh man, what did I like? I, it's, I, I don't remember the last time I was there, but I, I think I would just, I would just call Danny up and I would get in his car and let him, Take drive me around for, for an hour and tell me about the history of things. Nice. Yeah, I would be happy to do that. Okay. And then afterwards I can tell you why you smell like Otto's jacket. <laughs> no? No, Is that I, don't, good? I don't smoke weed with people in the car. It's dangerous. Well, you don't have to. You just have to get in the car, that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Don't, not anymore. Not with the kid. It didn't no. me, I noticed your cool I'm saying, uh, Mohawk the... Place t-shirt from uh, Buffalo, oh, yeah. New York. Hey, thanks for taking the heat off me, Mike. Appreciate no problem. that. problem. It's called the reflection. <laughs> uh, I, can't, uh, I can't say that we ended the tour any better than at Mohawk Place in Buffalo, Buffalo New York, because there was, there was puke in the urine all that night. Wait, is that figuratively or literally? No, literally. Yeah. That was the, oh, literally. Place, oh, okay. that was the oh. place where Jeremy locked his keys in the car on the last night oh. of tour, and we couldn't we couldn't go home. A Sunday night, oh. a Sunday night of 11, 12 shows in a row. And broken foot. Or yeah, broken, yeah, yeah, Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy broke his foot on the first. This is, this first, is the earliest Scootsian period. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he locked us out and we had to wait for like three hours in Buffalo and Mike made out with some chick and the bells rang and stuff. I don't know. Something happened. Bells? (laughs) Yeah, I think there was. Oh, no, it wasn't bells. It wasn't bells. What did you. It was you. You. You were making out, and then you heard the car alarm go off. You you, you, Because, yeah, you know, when they break the car open. They pop it. The alarm (laughs) goes off. Okay. Okay. Gotta go. I'm back. Buffalo um, oh is a nice place, Mike. I'm just saying. It's great. It's uh, a nice, nice little town. What are you going to say about Buffalo um, that hasn't been said already by Buffalonians? <laughs> what do they, what do you call Buffalo residents? I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's the first fact check of the episode. I don't know. Is it's it probably... Buffalo-sters? No, no, no. I bet it's Buffalonian. I think it's Buffalonians. Sounds about right. What would you... Yeah, I, I wouldn't consider myself, um, you know, an authority on Buffalo. Just that Jeremy locked his keys in the car. It was very, uh, you know, I don't see a. Uh... This is not a very good fact check. Wow, Buff- Buffalo. <laughs> Usually Jeremy's really good Thank at this, you. Mark. Sorry. Thank you, Mark. Oh no, that's okay. I, oh. Is your computer? Uh... My, my computer has something called the Bing virus. I don't know if you guys have had that. <laughs> we don't Bing around here. We're, oh, we're anti-Bing. You're an Xboxer. Um, I have a you virus. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? On your computer? My computer has a virus. It's oh, the Bing virus. What year is your Tandy computer? The 14. Uh, well, I just, I just got it. Um, I oh, just got the, the virus like last year. virus preloaded. <laughs> no, but is uh, it a got Mac the, or a PC? It's a, it's a Mac. I got it. Uh, the I got the virus maybe a, a year ago. So there, uh, there's this okay. artist named you know Wayne White. He's pretty cool. He did like Pee Wee's Playhouse and stuff. He okay. has a, he has a website. I I I was on his website looking at his art, and then all of a sudden a there was a pop up. It said pop you have up. to download. You have to download Flash. Oh no! And then I downloaded it, and then from that moment, oh no! Uh, Every time I go into Google and type in the adventures of Danny and Mike podcast mm-hmm. or whatever, and it starts a Google page and then it goes away and then it opens up in a Bing search. No. <laughs> That's the worst <laughs> case scenario. The coolest, coolest mm. most ironic virus ever. Yeah. And I can't get rid of it. Sometimes it goes I'm away. Sorry. I'm no. sorry to make fun no. of your pain. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it, and it goes it goes away every once in a while, but so then you can use I, your Google. I can Chrome. go back to Google. Yeah, no, no, no. Even if I use Chrome, no matter what uh, search, uh, Chrome, Safari, any of those other Safari it, it always pops it. up at Firefox. Say Firefox. I dare you? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so for a while I was 
clear from any flare ups, but then the other couple couple weeks ago it came back. So a couple weeks ago there was another flash I'm, movie. I'm, I'm, I'm being <laughs> a little itchy. I'm binging it yeah. again. The, He's so, well, He's I'll, I'll, I'll got, if you'd gotten you the Alta Vista virus, it would have been way worse. Oh God. So <laughs> yeah. you need or clean the, my Mac X. Oh really? Yes. That's Jeremy's second fact <laughs> check of the day. <laughs> that's my uh that's my that's my recommendation. Okay. I'm Jeremy, gonna use it. Jeremy yeah. has done it for me and it works. And it the doesn't old... you don't have to uh doesn't delete any other programs or anything on your computer. No, no. It, just it just deletes, the, it just shit. deletes yeah. the bullshit. Idle files. Okay. Um, but then it'll tell you every week it's time to do it. And you're like, dude, I just want to do this like oh. once every three months. Like I don't need it every week. Thank wow. you for making me feel like I'm not being a, a, a good Mac user by cleaning my computer every week. <laughs> What the hell do you think I'm doing every week anyway that would necessitate a, a full cleaning again? I mean, you're I guess totally I could think of a couple <laughs> things, but whatever. That's, yeah, that's good. You totally pivoted from Wayne's World. I know you wanted to go into it, and you completely Once again, pivoted. I'll note that your T-shirt is from Buffalo, Jeremy. It's uh, <laughs> that's a good, that's a very place. good point. I've never been. It all comes together. It, yeah, it matches your flag really well. Um, yeah, that's cool. Oh, Let's put it out there. Yeah, what about that? The uh, but yeah, Buffalonian, I guess, is the term. It was Buffalonian. Well, I mean, that's all I, I don't know. I'm not, I could just text my cousin because they're I've I've got family from Buffalo, and I can end this fact check. Isn't it myself? Just a, isn't it Buffalo? Isn't that someone who is from Buffalo? A Buffalo? I like it more. Where Where are you from? It's Buffalo. Like, yeah. Buffalonians. A, a pole yeah. is someone from Poland. Residents of Buffalo are oh. commonly referred to oh. as buff- Buffalonians. Oh, are you right. are you making stuff up? Nope. That's no, pretending like, to read. That's what they're doing. Share it right now. Give me the proof. Share well, that screen. That's for screen the here. non-Patreon listener, it did look like Jeremy was reading from something. It could have said anything, but he did a good job of reading and speaking at the same time. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's, it's, from the, it's from the directly from the site called Wikipedia. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. There it is, Buffalonians. Oh, you're sharing. Residents of Buffalo are commonly referred to as Buffalonians. Listen, if you are a Buffalonian and you want to settle this debate, maybe you... at 347-470-8150 right. and tell us about how Rochester is bad because of garbage plates. And send us some pizza. Oh, that's... What yeah, is- no. <laughs> Yeah, that's Buffalo. We, yeah, we like. We I'm so lunch. glad. I'm so glad that we're Pop looking you at go. your shared screen, and hopefully, nothing good <laughs> pops up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm so curious to see what's on there. Bro, I want to know about good, all your man. FedEx shipments. Bro. Sure you should be using UPS by now, man. Fuck FedEx. Really? Yeah. Is that a brand? brand? Is that a brand, brand you hate? Hey, I'm sorry. I don't. You know what? I take it all back because. That could be Super Bowl. That could be Super Bowl material for Mark. So I do not want to pre. I do not want to risk anything. Any, thank you. Thank you. I am. I am always very cautious about uh, the brands. I. That's good. Discussed. That's- um. So yeah, you know. But but but, uh, but are there brands that you've turned down things? that you won't work with? <laughs> That's what I want. Oh yeah, um, and FedEx did a bunch of, bunch of shitty things. But yeah. still. Oh right, right, right. No, no. Well, no. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, no. That's that's totally totally it's fine. The one, it's the one thing it's, Mark's agent really hates is that he's yeah. picky about his brands. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is there are no. Well, now now I've just been so so, like very. I've really been reading up on, on companies and their practices and, you know, there's all these lists going around of who's contributing to who and stuff like right. that. And so I, I wonder, cause I haven't had any auditions in a long time just because of uh, coronavirus and everything, but I, I, I'm, I I'm wondering, were, I thought you were going to finish that. I haven't had a lot of auditions in a long time outside of this closet. <laughs> right yeah self-taping self-taping in front of this closet most yeah. of the characters i audition for are people who work in, <laughs> in retail. A, a, a thrift store <laughs> <laughs> and i always yeah so i'm sorry mark you you were no no i just no that's right yeah you hadn't read you, for something in a while no, well no and just now just in this you know you you want to make sure you're you're the company that you're working with is has good practices so i i i'm i do i do i have 
been starting to think more about that stuff, but Appreciate I think it's important. It. Yeah. yeah. I think it's important. We try to do it with our ad selections. We don't, uh, we try not to support. Yeah, we, were, we had really high standards for a long time, Mark. We just didn't accept any ads at all. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's like the first, the first six, seven years of the podcast, we were just like a yeah. strict no ad stance whatsoever. And then for those three times. instantly the fellas have prevailed upon me to soften that. <laughs> slightly, slightly soft. Uh, Until we get, you know, advertisements that are like, hey, do you want to uh, have us advertise on your show? What are you called? We're called. Or what oh. was it called? Well, yeah, we had a weird one come up, but uh, it was racist. Oh. It, it was it, it, it was a fit. So why are you bringing uh, it up? Because now you're like doing a commercial for them. No, no, they're, getting not, what they're they not want. good. Mm. They're not good. It's not you're good. You're going to cut that out and they're going to say, they're going to say offensive cartoons. Good. It's, it's from okay. Danny Tamborelli. It's you know, okay. Uh, Jeremy has the capability of bleeping out their name after we record this. Uh, oh, that's True. great. You should. Like, you thanks, should. Man. Yeah. If you thanks, don't. Really- Thank you, Jeremy, for making another hour of work for me. For now. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Um, I'm thinking about doing. Did I ahead. just get an oh boy out of you? Oh boy, you did. That's the first one. That's uh, I've been wow. speaking of kids and adulting and stuff like that. I've been uh, thinking about getting a car with Marla. I think we're gonna buy a car. Oh, cool. I thought you were gonna say you're thinking about having kids. I was gonna say, is the car gonna have a baby seat in it? Could you be a little more subtle? <laughs> <laughs> Give me no, it's just gonna have room for a dog. Oh, no, we're just thinking bodies. about kids and yeah, doing stuff. Center, so we're thinking center. about getting a car. Let's get a, a car. Center, console, this something where I can strap a carrier. To. <laughs> this frame of video is an actual representation of my family. The, the type of people who should have kids. <laughs> One, two, three. You guys are doing great. It's you're having a kids. Story. And then this guy here, I named Remy. Probably, <laughs> who it's was probably, living with a real to real table. I'm not going to say it's probably best, but it's like I'm good. I'm good if I don't. Good if he I do. He likes to be called Uncle. What and that is it? One no of four. We'll it his time is his. <laughs> he never has to wake up at two in the morning <laughs> to change yeah. a poop diaper. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right exactly. away, we all went. To he poop. just likes to clock out. At six or seven. He's the uncle from Skype. The uncle <laughs> from Skype. <laughs> the FaceTime guy. Uh, Fortnite. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or, yeah. Virtual. You are, you are the. Dude. You're the you're gamer the, guy. You're yeah. the fa- you're the FaceTime uncle to my son. That's the only time you see him right now. Unfortunately, yeah. FaceTime. And I, you know, it, that'll change. You're we're the, we're you're all going to hang out. And- you're the Venmo child support dad. Jeremy, <laughs> <laughs> listen. However, the money gets there. <laughs> as long fine. as it gets there by the first three as to five, as as three to five business days. Okay, that that's used right. to I'm be not, the case. I'm now not splurging. Get, I mean, that's BS. Now you can get it instantly. Think about. Think you about. You gotta it pay for the instant. Yes, you gotta pay it, for it. Not always. Oh, there are more fireworks again. Is, that, is, is Park Slope exploding yeah, too? I, yeah, apparently there's a thing. I don't know if LA is doing it, Mark, but uh, yeah. yes, LA there's is like an explosion doing it. of fireworks. Well, <laughs> there's a literal explosion of fireworks uh, in the neighborhoods <laughs> in New York every night. Apparently, oh, every it's, night. it's gotten Mark, so yeah, bad. But yeah, Mark, they're... last year it, there were 53 calls about fireworks last this summer. 6,500. Yeah, it's something crazy like that. No, gen, not, it's not a joke. They just, they start popping. They were starting to pop off at like 6.30. Yeah, there's evening. a lot of videos on the internet, which are misleading, but sometimes they're timestamp. Is it because they're getting time. ready for the 4th of July? Or- there's many, there are many conspiracy <laughs> theories out there, Mark. I went down a, I went down a wormhole. Oh, there's rabbit holes in this? Oh, big like time. But uh, well, Jerry, what do you? Which like one? A separate podcast episode for you. Look, yeah, I'll give exactly. you. I'm going to give you t- the two. The two that I find the most interesting and troubling at the same time. Let me let me get into it. Yeah, one is that it's the police setting them off because they're trying to disrupt the Black yes. Lives Matter thing and Sanchez. like keep uh, keep keep protesters like upset. Yeah. And like making people like sleep deprived and disoriented, and also because if they're no gonna come in here with, sleep. No. yeah, 
<laughs> they're going to come in here like in a war zone, then they're getting people used to the sound of like booms and I'll send an that. anime tea to the sky. Wow. This is like both, a both, what's super, what's the both website super troubling. Uh, uh, Twitter, actually. Okay, great. So Wait, people what was just talking two? about what it on the, Twitter. What was the two? There was only one. There was only one theory so far. Oh, that was yeah. The one theory is that it's the police and that they're doing it, and the other one is that it's it's the government doing it and they're giving kids. I mean, they're high grade fireworks, man. Hold on, like, this is really the same theory because I think the police work for the government. If you're wondering right, about, but my no, power, but they're I saying I cut myself grievously <laughs> today, grievously wow, with a bread knife. We could, do Star Wars we, could do ten, we could do 10 minutes on this easy. Yeah. yeah I, I'm, more, I'm more machine than man. Getting, Wait, a, that, uh, getting a serrated knife cut is never good. Yeah. If you, you guys, want, if you want a nice, clean, fresh, one sharp blade. Don't go where I went to my house. Yeah. 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 I get it. <laughs> I get it. Um, Thank and you. Yeah. And then the, the other one is just that. It's just that they're, that's the government doing it to, to prepare us for war. You know the police work for the government, right? I understand that, but I'm saying that there it's two different it's it's two different things. Two different I thought you said it was happening last year though. Did you say it was happening last year? Oh it was not happening all over. Like you get like a week or two, like don't do oh for the come on for the listener Mike uh, cut his hand pretty good. It's kind of like a Zorro sort of feel to it. (laughs) That's what happens. You have a serrated a serrated not bread knife. Yeah, let me stitch that up. So my mistake, in. my mistake was cutting stale bread with a slightly dull bread knife, and the the blade chattered off the crust instead of slicing cleanly through, and mm. slipped oh. to my. That's why. Look, talking to a guy who worked in a bagel store for many years, if you have if you got stale bread, you got to start down first. You go yeah. edge down that way. It's no, sad. that's that. Well, you can do that too. That's also a, that's also a good thing. You Sorry, make a, you make a little hole and then you I'll cut let the through. bagel. I'll let the bagel man go. Ahead. Anywho, no big deal. Just saying. <laughs> Mark does it even better. He cuts the crust off in letters and shapes. Yes, you do. Because I'm a uh, follower uh, of his work <laughs> and, or, on Instagram, and he does amazing things where he makes an uh, egg in the middle. Is that what they call them? Toad egg in the hole. Middle? Toad in the hole. Uh, yeah, I just like know. a sunny side up. Just a yeah, like a <sighs> fried egg. Yeah, I've but it's not much just a lately. fried egg. It's, it's okay. a beautiful right. piece of art on Instagram. In my oh, best well, thank you. I, I dig it. Yeah. I don't know how I went down that rabbit hole. But uh, oh, uh, no, thanks. The other rabbit hole <laughs> which should be how can we investigate that? I, it seems pretty easy to investigate fireworks they, going on. busted off. a bunch of people they're, selling them today. They're across the street, they're two blocks that way. Just look up and see where they <laughs> explode and go to that coordinate and yeah. say, what's yeah, happening on, here? Hey, hi there. Yeah, hey there. <laughs> For the uh, Patreon subscriber. <laughs> yeah. <Hi. laughs> here, here, you, can look, you can look at them from there. Hi. Actually, is that the host of... Uh, is, no, yeah, this is... Here, sweetie. I'm here, sorry, is that on, the I'm host gonna, of... Excuse me. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Hold on. That's the okay, host. Mark's uh, uh, Saul Hold on. <laughs> it's a good one. This is the kind of content that if you're looking for Patreon for five bucks, we'll get you. That's so right. I says, to, I says to my son, I says, Daddy injured himself grievously. And yeah, I used two different Star Wars. You use band the band word band. grievously to your child? Yeah, no. Is that D3, uh, R2-D2 on the bottom and then a Stormtrooper on the top? Wow, Jeremy, it's like you know everything about the sexual politics of Star Wars. Well, there's a lot going on there. Uh, these were the band aids, the only band aids that I had. And no, I did not say grievously to my son. Because okay. <laughs> that would be, I think that's a word that's difficult for little kids. Well, no, it was actually a Star Wars tie in because it was General Grievous. Mark, uh, this oh. happened last week with, uh, with Daniel's uh, son. <laughs> yeah. who, uh, oh, that's funny. Needed. I guess just just wanted to hang out with his dad. He's having no. I mean, he's. I feel like only during a a pandemic where we're all together twenty four seven, he's developed this like. You're the dad that puts me to sleep. You feed me one meal. We play really hard, and and I'm done with you. And that's it. If I fall and I cry, I go to mom. If I mm-hmm. need 
just any sort of like cuddles. I go to mom, but he won't, he won't go to sleep for like, I've become the disciplinarian like that. I don't know how it happened. Like he won't, he'll, he won't lie down for her in the crib. He just keeps standing up. If I go in there, all I have to do is like open the door and look at him and he, he goes down. Fonzie. Danny does the fun. Really? He like, he, like, he, he like, like lies down and he's like, Oh, I guess I got to go to sleep. I also call mm. myself, you know, for lack of a better term, the tit warden because she's still breastfeeding and he will be like sort of uninterested or like, you know, just not caring or he'll like nip at her. And I come in and I'm like, get on that tit. And he does it. Like I have to, I, wow. point, I can even not even say anything and just point to her boobs. And he like, he's like, Oh, okay. And just I've like, been doing a similar it. thing with <laughs> Richie. <laughs> it doesn't involve my body, but it involves his, his sitting. How do you teach a dog that's deaf how to sit? Oh, right. I don't know. I've, I've been doing this and he's starting to sit every time I do it. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. It's not even similar. I was going to say, Danny, it sounds like dog you're dog. kind of just recording DLC. Some some gaming content. What being the tit warden? Yeah, yeah. It's just sort of like <laughs> Rockstar's next game is going to be like a baby POV. It's a parenting. <laughs> it's a parenting simulator. Oh wow, that's a. Do they have any of those? Gosh, I hope not. Million dollar billion dollar idea, especially if it's uh, uh, yeah, it's a billion dollar ideas. Thank you, Mark. Uh, yeah. You're obviously 25 percent share at this point, <laughs> right? <laughs> but just from the zoo, just from the, the zoo. right, if it, yeah. But is there so other that's at least he... 250 mil that's in your pocket from us, tax free? What I knew I oh no nope, did this for a reason. Days. Yeah, Daniel Pam. Um, we're sort of uh, heading to the end. I I think here we've we've. Uh, We've been at it for a little while, and I'm sure you all have parenting to do and kids to parent. I have chocolate chip cookies to eat. I have a dog to parent. Wow. Actually, the dog has to go out every in two hours. Otherwise, he gets, <laughs> he gets a little whiny. Even at so, night? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, no, so who wakes up at four and who wakes up at two? He's made me uh, get up every morning at 7 a.m., and I don't like it. I complain every time. 9 a.m., he, he wants to get up again and go back out. I hate it, but I'm on that schedule, so... I'm on the. Uh, I'm on, I know. I feel so your pain. If you want to foster, if you want to foster no, a deaf Jeremy dog, that, yeah, well, Gino's a day gets up <laughs> each dog every two hours, and that's your kind of thing. Why don't you adopt him? Because Let Jeremy, know, Jeremy, zero eight one five zero. If you're in the New York City Jeremy tri-state wants area, to, uh, for an hour. He really you wants to adopt. get a new foster dog. <laughs> <laughs> no. Richie, I told Richie he could stay here as long as he needs to. That's you know funny. what I mean. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. He's, Have uh, you ever he's fostered a, a dog, Mark? Have you ever fostered any sort of animal? No, I. D- what a piece of crap you I, are! I, you, you have, have cats. Though, I right? am. Yeah, yeah, I am. You're a cat. Uh, no, I think he's just fine. That's, just I just having having two kids is uh, that's plenty. I I I can't imagine having another animal in the house. We I we, I do have a cat right now. He's old he's almost 14 he sneezes all the time he's a chronic sneezer i'm saying now i'm imagining him with bifocals and sort of like a a librarian (laughs) yeah he is he is uh (laughs) he's always like shushing yeah yeah yeah. and (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. uh and it's just you know vet bills and then just taking care of him and, and and we love him though but but i it is it is ch- it is challenging and i i think yeah people people who have dogs that is that is a big responsibility i you because you can't you can't bring a dog with you as easily to like run an errand as you can you know i mean there are certain things that yeah dogs are challenging have you seen yeah. the outside they have to run. uh camelbacks to put cats into <laughs> floating I, floating in the water in the camel no, 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 no. <laughs> drain all the water out first I mean unless they're in a hurry uh, okay. they directly drain the water out first weird visual yeah <laughs> no, they, I'd you try, cut it I'd... in half so it's more like just a, a backpack oh okay mm-hmm. oh. my my good friend who lives in Philly she got pregnant and three or four months into her pregnancy they got a dog because everybody told her not to do it and she was like ah whatever it'll be fine so now, and it was a puppy. So now she has 
baby plus six puppy. month old baby plus a puppy who's like not really a puppy but still kind of a puppy and it's uh she wants she wants to get rid of the dog. <laughs> no. She's like, I should have listened. I just thought I could handle it. I was like, you cannot handle it. She's also a, a pediatrician. We'll tell her Richie wants to Philly. go out. Wow. Tell her Richie so, wants to go out, you know, every two hours. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Anyway, All right. I just well, find that uh, funny. I think it's it's uh it's eighty six degrees in here right now. It's ri- it's risen a good four degrees. Yeah. Um, so typically, this would be the time when all four of us, if we were in this room, we have to stop. Or That's some hot if display. all four of us were in that room, it wouldn't be 86. It would be probably 90 something. 91. 90. Yeah. Yeah. It would have gone up. Yeah. Dan and I Next are good time. for about a degree or two each. With our get black, real. With get our real. Degrees, typically. Get real. I like two <laughs> degrees. He's one degree. Jeremy's one and a half degrees. What is it? <laughs> Whoa. Wait, why do I get a half? Of Kevin Bacon. Uh, I don't know. That's just how it worked out. Who's All right. Well, the phones are ringing. Oh, <laughs> zero. <laughs> Leave a message. Uh, Mark, give us give us some uh, plugs. What are you you What are you up to these days? What you're doing the podcast? Uh, doing- yeah, sometimes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I do dad scraps with my friends John Lavelle and Matt Hobby. Um, and I also have a podcast with my daughter that sometimes we work on whenever she feels like doing it um Ooh. and i don't push her to do it it's called up to the moon and back with eden saul and each episode she picks a topic and just talks about it and sings about it and uh and it's fun and i love doing it and i that's great ho- hope that's she'll awesome. want to do another episode one of these days <laughs> that's awesome yeah very cool and then yeah and then like uh other than that i'm just uh I mean, I'm in this closet pretty much. Most yeah, we're all in that closet, that figurative yeah. closet these days. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. The uh, the pandemic closet. Yeah. All right. Well, it's risen one more degree. So, gentlemen. Wow. Okay. We'll thank you for having me. Do. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Thank Thank a, you, Mark. It's a fun Tuesday hang. Sure. All right, y'all. See you on the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs> the Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Marona. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. This show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.